Skyline 770 here again, and here I'm going to be demonstrating touch pod for the M3 reel. I'm going to open it up and get straight to it here. This is what you're waiting for, not for me to be babbling on and on with the, my DS closed. <laughs> anyway, at Isaku reel, hold X, I guess I was a little too slow on that. Anyway, go here, slide to the right, default X. And here you have it. Here you've got your NDS, GBA. It plays uh, GBA ROMs if you have the GBA expansion pack, but that's with the M3 Real Perfect Bundle. I didn't get it. My Card, which is a file browser. Boot, which allows you to act as a pass me to boot into your slot 2 device. Say if you've got another kind of a flash card thing for your GBA slot. Media, it's sort of a moon shell extension kind of thing. PDA, that's PDA DS if you have it. I don't. It's a little bit buggy to my knowledge. And settings here. I'll just show you off here. Boot icon, don't know what that is. Skin, default. I'll change that for you right now. Skin 2. There we are. It's a nice little Vista ish kind of look. Shortcut main menu. System, English. You just press B to get out of it. Here you have a brightness toggle. I just keep it at the dimmest, saves up on a little bit of battery life. Anyway, let's get into here. And it doesn't sort your ROMs by any real order. I think it's the order that you put them on by, but correct me if I'm wrong on that. I like on Sakura how it kind of arranges it in alphabetical order, but not here. Anyway, booting up is the same. You just, well, here you can scroll. Not very well. It's a little bit buggy or you can touch it it'll load up the game perhaps not just hit a and here you have your config and your cheats you can have the cheat switch off the real-time save slash soft reset off slow motion switch off it's just like Sakura you can change them all And yes, M3 Real supports real-time save, meaning you don't have to hit a save point or anything in the game. You can just actually save at any moment in time and load it right there. Y, download play, you enable or disable it there. Cheat, you have all of your stuff here. Go back to config, and all you do is hit start, and you fire up the ROM after it loads. Just like that. Stuff file does not exist, creating save file as it should. Anyway, everything works fine just like it did in Sakura. Anyway, going to reboot, get back into it here. I'm not going to get too in-depth into the games. Now I'm going to hold X this time while it's booting, so it goes straight to touchpod. There we go, works this time, just to show you that it does. Now, what you're really going to be using touchpod on iSoccer Reel for is homebrew. And here you just scroll down, you can use the stylus on this bar here, but th I find this to be a little bit quicker. It doesn't show, or it does show, all of your hidden files and stuff while Sakura doesn't. Anyway, scroll through here. Homebrew folder, here we are. Apps and games, I arranged it like that. Let's go to games, for example. I have DS Cube, Tetramaster, Inguna, Mega ETK, Warcraft 3 Tower Defense, Blackjack, Missile Command DS. Just for the hell of it, I'm gonna show you Missile Command DS. Hit slot one, I don't know what slot two does. Present. Anyway, press start, and it's just like Missile Command. I like the explosions on this one. It's like you're on acid. They all change in colors and everything. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, homebrew works very well. Now, this is not 
too in depth of a review on touchpod because I don't really use it too much I just showed you my general purpose for it I'll go back into it one more time might as well just to show you the media extension and that's basically Moonshell. Now, on here, you can touch it or anything, but my video, my disc, help and support, my music, my ebook, settings. Let's go my disc and let's find the music. You scroll to the menu here. I believe you can touch around. Yep. I've never used this before, so. Yeah, bear with me. And it plays just like that. Not nearly as sleek and sexy as Sakura, but it gets the job done, I suppose. Resume play, let's test that right now. Hold X while it's booting. There we are. No, apparently it does not have resume play, but oh well. Can't win them all. Soccer it is, though. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit biased, but what can I say? I love me some soccer. Anyway, this concludes part three of my review. I hope to see you on part four, which is I Touch DS.